I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I am at the Westfield Valencia Town Center Art Space and I am joined with Jeff Barber, Arts Events Supervisor and the one in charge of the city's public art program. Uh, Jeff, we are here today because we have a new installation. We do. We just opened an exhibit called Bubblicious. It's a celebration of the 50th birthday of bubble wrap and we've asked some artists to come up with pieces that use bubble wrap as a component to uh, their piece and we've come up with uh, we have quite a few uh, nice examples of work and a lot of creativity here. I remember we talked about this uh, process a long time ago. You opened it up for artists to submit uh, their designs? We did. About three months ago we started this process. Asked artists to submit uh, art pieces using bubble wrap as a component and uh, we uh, ended up having 11 artists locally that submitted pieces. Uh, we have 12 pieces because one artist uh, got two into the show. And uh, so the exhibit will be here um, through mid-January. And uh, there's great work here, a lot of great examples of creativity using bubble wrap of all things. Right, and just to uh, kind of give people an indicator where we, exactly we are, with the Westfield Valencia Town Center, uh, sort of in the main entrance next to the food court, uh, this is uh, one of several now installations the city has done. Yes, we've uh, done about six or seven exhibits here at uh, Westfield Valencia Town Center Art Space. Uh, everything from hands-on interactive exhibits, uh, where we did an audio tour through the mall uh, project with Cal Arts, uh, to the Art Challenge was uh, a pretty interesting one where we gave artists a certain amount of money and, and randomly uh, um, shows a, a shop within the mall here for them to go in, purchase uh, items, and create an art piece only using items that they purchased at that store. That was pretty interesting as well. So we, uh, the idea of challenging artists I think is fun for me, fun for us, fun for the public to see what creativity comes out of those challenges. So here we are today. This is the Bubblicious um, art exhibit. Are we Now this is the 50th anniversary of Bubble Wrap. Are we the only uh, municipality or art museum that's doing this? Is this just something unique to us? No, there was a, a museum back east that did something similar to this uh, several months ago, and uh, we kind of thought that was a great idea and decided, hey, let's do that in this community and see what we get as well. So it's worked out well. Okay, well, that's great. Right now we are going to talk to a couple of the artists who have uh, works for display. Right now I'm with local artist Lori Finkelstein. Uh, Lori, you have submitted a piece of art for the Bubblicious exhibit. Can you talk about it? Certainly. Uh, first of all, I was thrilled to come to the challenge, call to the challenge, and do a piece. I typically do acrylic mixed media work, so the bubble wrap really fit in with something that I already do, although it stretched me a little bit using this new material. And um, in my piece, I used two kinds of bubble wrap. Uh -huh. I used a large bubble wrap. Uh, that's used for large packing, and then I use the flat bubble wrap that you would typ typically see in a, a CD uh -huh. envelope. And with that, I combined it with wire and beads and uh, threads uh, and other materials. It's, it's really neat, and there's a lot of texture going on. How long did it take you to come up with the concept? Probably, most of my concepts come during the night, so it was probably during one or two nights that I formulated my idea. And then it took about three weeks of execution. I have a lot of detail work. Um, the, the wire, I twist myself. And I worked quite a few hours uh, at a time to, to achieve it. Okay, and, and we're, we're happy that you uh, got something in. What, what other kind of things do you do? I love to do, uh, Again, mixed media is one of my favorites where I combine acrylics with wire and beads. I like to border on impressionist work to abstract. And then when I need a break from that, I do representational landscapes. And what do you think, I mean, we're here at the Westfield Valencia Town Center Art Space. What do you think, uh, what do you think of this overall and its impact for the community providing a place for public art? I think it's really important to bring art to the public and not just keep it in museums. I think it's awesome that Westfield has dedicated this space for public art. And I, I, I like the fact that just anybody strolling through the mall can get a taste of art that they normally wouldn't have access to. Right now we're with local artist Adele Tisber. Adele, tell us about your piece. Um, I have a piece called The Clothesline and it was obviously inspired by this bubblicious event. And it represents um, 50 years ago, the clothesline was everywhere. 
And I wanted to pair that with the modern plastic clothing and plastic grass. And so it's a statement pretty much on permanence and impermanence. And it's just fun to look at. It's a lot of fun. And the, the clothes look like they're blowing in the wind, even though they're inside. Okay. And a piece fell on the ground. It's just kind of a, a good piece. S sunk into cement. So it's very sturdy. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So when you heard about the uh, submission, uh, how long did it take you to come up with the concept? Um, Pretty much within a day or so. Yeah, it just, I don't spark my imagination. It was just kind of fun, and, and I did a drawing and submitted it, and they liked it, and then I had to make it. <laughs> and this time, bubble wrap was the medium. Do you, what do you normally work with? I normally work with mixed media metal, so I weld and I cut glass and I paint and I do all kinds of things. The clothesline itself is a welded piece, okay. so I did make that from. And you've, yeah. been, you've been doing out, art out here in Santa Clarita for how long? Um, I would say about 20 years, yeah, about 20 years. I teach at Wiley Canyon Elementary School, art, and I've been doing that for 12 or 13 years, and um, I taught metal sculpturing at College of the Canyons for three years, and I just had a show actually in Ventura, which was great, and I'll have a sculpture show with five other sculptors in January at the COC Gallery. Very nice, and we have a very rich artist community out here in very Santa Clarita. Yeah. And this art space in particular at Westfield Valencia Town Center has only been here for a little while. What do you think about this, and what do you think about the importance of showcasing public art in the community? I think it's critical for the public to be able to see art, to see what our community has to offer. Um, I'd really like this to be expanded and publicized, and I think we're doing that right now, which is excellent. So, Absolutely. Well, Adele, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're interested in checking out the Bubblicious exhibit, make sure you head over to the Westfield Valencia Town Center Art Space. It's happening through January. Uh, for This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.